Hi, I'm Jay. I am not good at this. So this is gonna be way more professional than this. Hey, um, I'm Jay. I am 26, which means I did my A levels in 2013. That's where I met Chris and my other teacher, Ali, who was my history of art teacher. Um, together, I reckon they are probably the main reason that I'm actually still an artist. I think when you tell your parents as a kid that you want to be an artist, like it kind of is like a laughed off thing and like haha like oh that's really sweet like how nice um but it's something i really wanted to do and it's something that i continue to do i am now self-employed i own two businesses um i have my studio and um yeah i get to make art every day um the pandemic slightly affected that but i get to make art still which is pretty cool um i learned how to do portrait painting when i was at a level i um, learned how to oil paint because of chris chris really pushed that and explained that that was going to really help me get into university, which it definitely did. Um, I got into Glasgow School of Art mainly on portfolio because I had such a wide range of techniques. Um, when you're at A level, you have this insane amount of resources available to you and this knowledge from like the adults around you. Like Chris has a wide scope of knowledge. He knows the books that you should be reading. He'll be able to like recommend different artists for you to look into. He'll learn. You, he'll help you teach you new techniques. Um, for me that really helped me because it set me up for when I went to a university I managed to like know a lot of this stuff already I already had a studio etiquette I understood how things worked um, which then also helped me when I left uni because he helped me um, navigate it entering into competitions art shows like how to curate things like when I was at um, college we did our own show at the end of the Lightbox gallery we also me and myself and Florence, we did, we organized an exhibition in Chelsea, which we did with a couple of other students, um, which was great because when I was at uni, I already knew how to do that. I already knew how to network. So that really helped me. And that helps when you leave uni too, because you meet people that are important. You need to know how to conduct yourself. You also need to know how to present yourself as an artist. And I think that can be really tricky if you don't learn that early on. Um, the main thing is you're just surrounded by all this knowledge and resources and it, the same goes when you go to university because you have all of these different materials constantly at your, your fingertips. I learned how to do ceramics, I learned how to cast in solid gold, I bent neon, like I got to have all these amazing experiences at uni and I think that really set me up for knowing that like anything is possible in the art world. Um, and it's not about money either, like things cost money to do, so when you're at uni everything's a lot cheaper, when you're at college things are a lot cheaper, you get discounts, you get student discounts, it really helps you. Um, but yeah, I think that had I maybe not um, had the teachers I did at A-level, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. Um, yeah, like I've lived in a lot of different countries, I ended up settling in Toronto, I've done shows in Australia, I've done shows in New York. London, Berlin, Toronto, and I think it's pretty cool. I think um, you should be an artist and I don't think you should be discouraged. And I think you can be an artist and be self-sufficient and fully funding yourself. For me, it was really important to be able to support myself on my own. Um, to be able to support yourself on your own from your art, that's pretty cool. <laughs>